You know, none of this would happen if you just bought me a car. You know what? Maybe you're right. So I could run you over and get charged for manslaughter. I could see myself telling the judge, yes, Your Honor, I did it. I did it. But I didn't know the brakes was faulty. Hello? Yeah, this is Bernie Mac. Tasha? No, I, I don't remember you. Oh, Sarah Brown's your grandmother. Yeah, you, you, you know, you're the one who used to sit on top of my car all the time. Tasha, is this really you? America, what is it with teenage girls? You think they like drama? Get some kind of charge out, out of pushing folks' button? Uh, well, I can push back, you know. This is good. Can I watch TV now? No, I want you to go and I want you to rewrite this so you can read it more clear, and especially for your teacher to read it more clear, OK? OK. Hey, honey, hey, dinner babe. be ready in 10. OK. Oh, could you do me a favor? Hmm? Could you go downstairs and get the fold away bed for me, please? <laughs> Was you anticipating the fight I'm gonna lose or something? It's not for you, silly. <laughs> it's for Vanessa's friend, Tasha. Isn't she in Chicago? Not this week. She's uh, visiting her aunt, and she's gonna spend a couple days with us. You see that? America. Nessa been home all afternoon. I mean, had plenty of chances to ask me anything she wants. But no, she thinks she's slick. Figures to ask Aunt Martha. But she's the weak link. Girl, really want to lose a bit. Boy, that's right now. You know, Ray's a snippet. Not what she's supposed to be. She's talking about. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's bad. Chicago. So when she gets here, I want her to see how cool I've gotten so she can report back to the old crew. Crew? I thought you didn't have any friends. I wouldn't expect you to remember anyway. If you don't mind, and even if you do, I have stuff to do, so bye-bye. Get out of here. Vominos. Adios, muchacha. Ugh. Wait, wait. Ricky is hot now? Ricky? Yeah, girl. His skin cleared out, and he came back from Juvie all buff. Juvie? What do you get locked up for? Uncle Bernie, Tasha and I have a lot of catching up to do. Come on, I'll show you my room. Oh, hang on a sec. Mr. Mac? Yes? My auntie wanted you to have this. You know, to thank you for letting me visit. Oh, wow, thank you. It's German chocolate. One of my favorites. Uncle Bernie? Yeah, baby? I was just hoping. And you know, Tasha is a really big Usher fan. The biggest. And you know he's in town. No, I didn't know. Could you get us Usher tickets, please? Do you believe this girl? I mean, talks to me like dirt. Goes behind my back, treat me like a servant. Now she gets her friend to give me a cake. And she think I'll just forget about it. She could just con me with confection, buttermeal, with buttercream. Well, they can scheme all they want, people. But I sure as hell ain't rewarding it. <laughs> so to that, America, my answer is no. No? You know I don't stutter. Told you. Mm-hmm. You told her what? What'd she tell? Thank you. See, now they're all mad because I saw through their little game. Well, I'm sure they're gonna come up with something else. It's gonna be a long weekend in America. <laughs> but I tell you what. Mm. Hey. Some 
good ass steak, though. I mean, damn good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He only said no to the concert because he hates me. Well, I wish someone would hate me enough to buy me my own computer. Shoot, this thing runs circles around the ones at the library. Shack town in the house. I know that ain't Jordan. Look at you, all big and handsome. Well, you know, I bet you got girls all over you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still playing the field. So how's Deshaun? Does he still hang out with Murph and Lil Ray and them? Pretty much. Hey, Tasha. Oh, you remember our gym game. I also remember that it was 423 to 302. Mine. Not after this weekend. <laughs> I did. I'm fixing the valves. I gotta check my messages. I know you don't plan on leaving and leaving your bed like that. Uncle Bernie, I don't have time. Tasha and I have a very big day planned. And you're gonna start by making up your bed. Hop to it. <laughs> hey, don't touch that. That's valuable art. I know. It's Pakoda. Pakoda? You know about Pakoda? Yeah, I took an appreciation class at Northwestern last summer. Wow, was it for community service? No, I just like it. Besides, it'll look great on the college application. Yeah? College application? Oh, that don't sound like anything I know. And appreciation ain't even a necessary. Art talks to adults. Face it, America, she's delightful. I hope some of her rub off on Nessa. Ooh, that'll be real nice. Wow, she's delightful, young lady. Mm. Give me this. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so what did you think of Muscle Beach? Pretty wild, huh? Insane. I got two dozen socks for four dollars. Afternoon, lady. Ugh, you stink. I wouldn't expect you to recognize top shelf clothes. And I won't allow you to make my room smell like Bigfoot. Hey, hands off the gun. So, Tasha, out. Ow! I mean, ow! Let go of me! No, Come on. out! Ow! Ow! Your game fell off. That's the second 10 you've seen me pick up. Wow. Miss Vi, she still got that store over there by Dorm Tower? And does she still sell those hot pickles? I mean, Nessa used to be crazy about those hot pickles with the peppermint in the scent of them. That was a check cashing place for the last four years. You kidding? <laughs> nope. I guess they didn't want Booby Green and them to have to run so far after they robbed people. Booby Green. <laughs> <laughs> In. Wow. I guess I should pay more attention. Can we deal you in? Sure. I'll play. Come on. Deal me in. Uh, I'm done. Through? But you are play. All right. 
Let me warn you, sister. I'm a bad man. Mr. Mack, hmm? I just wanted you to know I really appreciate the way you brought me into your home. Oh, man. I... Hey, they don't get you off easy. I'm still a bad man. Why'd you leave? Why'd you stay? It's a good thing I did. Because guess what? Your uncle got us usher tickets. We're going to the concert. He did? Yeah. Isn't he great? Please. All he probably did was pick up the phone and call his agent. So he still did it. And now I'm going to see my future baby daddy live on stage without commercial interruption. Now, come on. Help me pick out my outfit. Hey, you all have a good time. But don't forget, be back by 11. I know. OK. When I say 11 o'clock, doggone, I mean 11 o'clock in this time zone. We're sorry, Mr. Mack. We lost track of the time. And Usher did another encore. And I don't know what you're so worked up about. We were only 20 minutes late. Because 20 minutes of your minutes is 80 minutes of mine. Next time I tell you something, do it. He is so, ugh. Come on, Vanessa. We were late. How can you take his side? Cuz, you're tripping. And you have been since the minute I got here. I mean, look what you've got. So you're saying he's great just because he has a nice house and a pool? Vanessa, it's me, Tasha. You know I don't trip like that. He's great because he obviously cares about you. But as soon as he comes around, you turn into a total bitch. You're all, leave me alone. Yeah, well, you know what? Right about now, alone sounds pretty good. Oh. So it's like that now? Whatever. When does Tasha arrive in Chicago? Didn't she have a direct flight? I don't know. I bet you miss already, huh? Would you just leave me alone? You know what? I think maybe we sent the wrong girl back. Just a thought. America. Just a thought. I wonder. Yeah. Am I a total bitch? Excuse me? I mean, the way Uncle Bernie and I are always fighting. Is it my fault? Not totally, no. But maybe what the problem is is that every time he says something to you, you turn it into an attack. So it is my fault. Ah, uh, I didn't say that. Just be a little more open to him. You know, a little more open and less confrontational. Maybe you take an interest in him. You think you might want to do that? Oh, hey, thanks, baby. You're welcome, honey. Come on, sweetheart, you mind? Oh, honey, just playing with you. You're so cute. Hey, Uncle Bernie. Hey, to yourself. You want to watch a movie? You'll probably like it. It's old. Oh, oh, oh here we go. That's up to old tricks, America. You know, I'm not as old as she makes me out to be. But I'm no rookie either. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I got her faded. Now, you and I both know this ain't about no old movie. So why don't you just come on out and tell me what you really want? Come on, Nessa. What you really want? Why can't you ever... You know what? Forget it. Forget I even asked. Forget it. What? Sometimes it's just impossible. What'd I do? She was trying to be nice to you. You just attacked her. I didn't touch her. No, not right off the bat. But you accused her of having an ulterior motive. She came in here trying to do a better job of getting along with you. But I guess that's impossible. Oh! 
I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeVille. Huh? Okay, I give up. What did I do now? I guess I deserve that. You know, Nessa, I didn't know you really wanted to watch this film. And I didn't know you knew about William Holden. What you know about William Holden? Who? You don't know much about this movie, do you? I know that it's in black and white, and that you can keep it five days instead of two like they do with the new stuff. <laughs> she doesn't want to watch that movie, America. She only got it because she thought I'd like it. She's making a real effort. And I attacked her for it. You know, maybe this could be a start of something new for us. Excuse me, America. I'll tell you what. Let you and I forget about that old movie. And I'll take you to your favorite French restaurant. Oh, but I want us making dinner. And that not Wanda's meatloaf isn't that bad. You hear her? America. The nerve of that girl. Well, she's right. I eat the back of a raccoon's ass to get out of here right now. Pew! Check! Refill my drink and then I'll leave you alone. Uncle Bernie? Mm hmm? You feel like playing around the gin rummy? I sure do. Hey, but let me warn you. I'm pretty doggone good. <laughs> I know. You're a bad man. <laughs> Damn. You know something, America? Nessa and I will probably never have that chatty thing going on. But this, this speaks volumes. This speaks volumes.
Gordon Tompkin. Oh, P-Boy. You know, they don't call me that out here anymore. Maybe not in L.A., dog, but around here, you always gonna be P-Boy. <laughs> Listen, I'm not scared of you anymore, so you just be glad I'm not in Chicago, because I'd have to show you what's up. Excuse me? Kiss your sister for me. I'm out. I showed him, didn't I, boy? Didn't I, boy? Yes, I did.